when you need to build high quality works of art with clean lines and shapes that can be scaled to any size, the only thing you need to know is drawing vector graphics. Hi there, this is Roy welcomes you to the second part of Vector Portrait Illustration Tutorial. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the creative world. Last week we created the outlines and base of the vector portrait. Those who have not seen the part 1, there is a card popping up now on the top right corner as well as link in the description. You can pause this video and go back and check the part 1 to understand this one better. In this video, we are going to do base coloring and shading for eyes, lips and ornaments. This video is also going to be a longer one, so have patience and follow the steps. Let's unlock the outline layer and create a duplicate. Lock the upper layer as a backup copy and select the below layer. Then select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle covering entire outline drawing. Give any bright color into it, I choose this one, then send the rectangle entity to the back. Hide upper layers to work comfortably in this layer. Now select everything by pressing Ctrl A and press Divide in Pathfinder panel. Then go to Object and then Ungroup. Now delete outer part that are not included in the main vector entity. Then start coloring each area. Please watch carefully how I take the sample color from the original photo. I select the shape and press Ctrl Y or press that eye icon beside the layer to go to outline mode and select color from the original photo with the help of eyedropper tool. Here I ask you not to take point sample by the eyedropper tool. Double click the eyedropper tool icon and select 3x3 or 5x5 average. I select 3x3 and pick the color from the original photo. Now I select the black outline entity by pressing fill color and delete. I don't need that here anymore because I have already a backup of the same on the above layer. Now I select only the skin tone, create a blank layer below this one and move the skin tone entity to that layer and rename it as skin. So the above layer will have only eyes, lips and ornaments. I rename it as others. Now I open a new document with the original photo and place it in the left corner as you can see for my reference. Hide the layer named others and draw everything on the new layers above it for shading and highlighting. For detailing the iris, I am using custom brushes that I created earlier. I am changing the opacity as and when needed by pressing numbers. I created this shortcut, so whenever I press 1, it is going to be 10% opacity. If press 3, it is going to be 30% and 0 for 100%. I am pressing B for brush tool, N for pencil tool and X to toggle fill to stroke or stroke to fill as I need. I am choosing darker color for the shadow and brighter colors for the highlights but maintaining the hue. Sometimes you need erase tool to delete unwanted areas of the shape you create. What I want to say here is use every necessary tools of illustrator to create the vector art. Focus on the creation not on the tools. I 
I'll do the detailing of the other eye following the same process. I moved all the eye detailing vector entity to the top layer and lock it to avoid any kind of unfortunate accidents. Again I will start detailing just above the layer named others. First I take the sample color from the layer named others and then I am looking at the separately opened reference photo and trying to mimic the shadows and highlights. I work on lips on a different layer above the layer named others. Again I will take sample colors from layer named others and then darken the color for shading and lighten for highlighting.
In similar way, I will shade the ornaments by mimicking the shadow and highlight from the original photo and as always, I take the sample color from the base color of the vector and start shading highlighting by darkening and lightening the same color. I think I should conclude the part 2 here and I request you to practice this tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. You can be master of it but only if you practice enough. Next week we will work on skin tone, shading and highlighting and finish the tutorial. So that's it. I hope this content helped you and if yes, ensure to give a like and be a part of this creative world by subscribing to the channel. Also. Ring the bell to get notified for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Till then, keep learning.